I feel like this is the most formal setting I've ever been in, <laughs> but it's really unintentional. I just really wanted to be nice and comfy for this video because I'm super stressed. So I'm sitting in my living room right now because this is going to be a little bit of a, of a different type of video. Um, I was initially going to do a get ready with me while I kind of just talked to you guys about some life updates but I filmed this once before and by the end of just the intro I already done my full face of makeup because I was just rambling so much so <laughs> I realized that maybe that wasn't the best idea and that I would just really focus on just talking to you guys because I can't really focus on two things at the same time so it seems the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is a pretty big deal um, it's it's a it's a big change for me personally and I felt like it was definitely my responsibility to talk about it so here we are so basically <laughs> the, this is making me so uncomfortable I hope you guys realize this but I'm getting a nose job there's so many things that I need to cover with this topic so again just bear with me because I feel like I'm gonna jump around a little bit but this is something that um, I have been wanting to do for as long as I could possibly remember. From the age of 12, I have always seen my nose in a bit more of a negative light. Didn't really like it. It was something that I always noticed about myself. It was something that I would always fixate on. Um, and it kind of just continued as I got older. And I always thought that it would be something that I would get over. And I was hoping that it would be something that I would get over, but it just wasn't. Especially after starting YouTube and, you know, staring at my face for like hours and hours and hours a day editing definitely didn't make it better. <laughs> I don't want to blame social media or my job for me wanting to do this because this has existed long before this was my job. So I just want to make that super, super clear. This wasn't something where I just kind of woke up one day and I was like, I'm bored, I'm gonna get a nose job. From the age of 18, I'm 26 now for reference, I started to see plastic surgeons and I started to actually explore the option of me changing my nose. I had never found a plastic surgeon that I felt like I clicked with and beyond that, I just didn't feel like mentally I was ready to go forward with such a life-changing decision if i would have done this when i was 18 19 20 21 even like i just don't think i would have been able to to handle it because it's such a big decision to make um it's not something that i would take lightly at all um and i am just so happy that i'm at the place where i am now in my life where i feel as confident and self-assured as i feel in my body in my choices like i said i had started seeing plastic surgeons um, from the age of 18. So I had definitely visited a lot of different plastic surgeons over the years and I never found anybody that I was that I clicked with. There were so many surgeons that I had met with in the past that I felt like were just really sterile, that had horrible bedside manner, that just really didn't make me feel comfortable or I just felt like I was like another number on their list. Like I didn't feel like I was a person to them. It was really a strange experience and it really kind of turned me off a little bit. I discovered my doctor that I am seeing. The minute that I met him, I kind of just had this feeling that it was the right fit. Um, he was just so attentive to what I wanted. He spent so much time with me on my first visit, like an hour and a half, going through absolutely everything he would do in order for me to get the results that I wanted. He made me feel incredibly comfortable and also confident in his ability that he would be able to give me what I wanted. So not only did I find this perfect doctor that I felt like would give me what I wanted, but I also felt mentally and physically that I was at the point in my life where I could do this and not have a complete mental breakdown. And beyond that, I think his work is gorgeous. Obviously, if you are looking to book a plastic surgeon, you need to know what you're getting into. You need to see the before and afters. And if they don't coincide with what you want in the look that you want or whatever it is, um, then it's not going to be a good fit. His noses that he did were, were beautiful. Like they were so natural looking. I really love that he didn't completely take away the character of a person's face because I find a lot of plastic surgeons will kind of just copy and paste the same nose onto everybody, which is not what I want. Um, for me, like I really want my nose to still look like my nose, just a more refined version of it. I'm not looking to change my face. I'm not looking to look like a different person. I just want to kind of enhance what I already have. And so I booked with him 
and that was such a liberating moment for me I had no hesitation and that's kind of when I knew I was in the right place to do this I was actually supposed to have the surgery in March it was March 24th or 25th or 26th something like that um, and it was right when COVID started and obviously I had to push the surgery because we went into quarantine um, and so it was delayed which was totally fine with me I mean obviously my main focus was what was going on in the world like I could even really give a shit that I had to push my surgery because I knew I would get it done at some point point. and so now it's five months later and and I'm doing it. So I kind of went through this roller coaster of emotions in March and now again. Honestly, guys, I'm shitting my pants about the surgery. Like, I'm very, very, very nervous. I've just been pretty anxious about it, but I think that's to be expected. I've literally never done any type of cosmetic procedure before. I've never gotten Botox done. I've never done my lips. Like, this is the first thing that I've ever done. And um, it's very different for me. I've never been put under. I am going under general anesthesia, which is scary. Like, there's a lot of parts of it that's really scary, but it's also equally really, really, really exciting. This is just something that I really felt like I needed to bring to your attention before I did it, because I feel like if I didn't bring this to your attention before I did it, it would just kind of be weird, you know? Trust me, I know there are a thousand things going on in the world, especially right now, that are far, far, far more important than my fucking knows. But I also know that if I didn't talk about it, if I didn't address it, if I didn't make this video, that there would be a thousand questions after I already did it and you guys would notice and all of that. So I kind of just wanted to nip it in the butt. Making this video was really um, stressful for me because obviously, you know, there's still that feeling that, I, that I'll disappoint some people, which is so ridiculous at the same time because like, why it's just my nose but I, I know that some people get attached to kind of who you are and I don't want you guys to feel like I'm changing in any way at all because I'm really not this is just something that's gonna make me feel good it's something that I, I know I want that trust that I am mature enough at, at my 26 years of age that I can make this decision for myself. I want you guys to know that um, nothing is really changing over the next couple weeks. I've been working really, really, really hard over the last month pre-filming my butt off. I have like three weeks worth of videos, so there's gonna be no, no cut in programming from me. You're still gonna see all of my normal content and that way I'll be able to heal off camera get a little bit less crazy looking because I'm gonna be swollen as fuck. You know, I wasn't initially going to do this, but I think I I am going to give you guys updates on Instagram. Like just little updates and how I'm doing and the progress and all of that. So if you do want to be updated on my progress and just see how I'm doing, then definitely follow me on Instagram because I'll be updating you guys on my stories. And I am also considering posting a vlog about this experience and I kind of wanted to hear from you guys um, and let me know if you think that's a good idea, if that's something you want to see, if that's something you're just not interested in. I feel like you would probably be interested in it. I mean like personally for me, I'm obsessed with watching nose job vlogs. When I search for nose job vlogs now, I have to sort it with the upload date because um, I've seen literally every single one available on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say about my nose. <laughs> it's really like the, the biggest thing in this video, like the other two things that I want to talk about. One is like just super exciting and the third thing is just more of like a small little update. So let's get into those things as well. Um, so my next update is that I recently got an office space. So about a year ago, I decided that I wanted to start looking to find an office space and I really didn't think that it would take me a very long time, but it did take me about a year to find a space that was perfect. Um, this would be a space that I would be filming out of, that I would just be working out of. For the last seven years that I've been doing YouTube, I've been working from home. While there are definitely a lot of great advantages from working from home, um, one of the disadvantages is the toll that it takes on your mental health. Being home 24 seven and not really fully having that separation between work and home life can definitely be a little bit challenging. Throughout my YouTube career, I've kind of had a couple different spaces that I filmed out of. I had my first bedroom from like my childhood home that some of you may have been around to see in that purple room. Um, I, th I then had another bedroom in my parents' house, and then I had my um, little filming studio in my apartment, and now in this house, I have my little 
my little studio that I film out of that you guys are probably familiar for familiar with and while the space is great and I'm super grateful to even have like an extra room in my house to be able to work out of um, it just wasn't working for me anymore and I was just really craving being able to leave my house in the morning have my work day and then come back home at the end of the day and kind of feel happy to be back home and for a long time like i was resenting my house because i was in it all the time so i really just felt it was time for me to finally find an office space and so i found one and i finally got the keys last wednesday and the space is amazing it's kind of everything i've ever wanted <laughs> as far as like a space to work out of it's like this really beautiful just big open space it's like a loft style room with huge windows beautiful natural light it's gonna definitely take me a little bit of time to get that space ready to be able to film it f film at so you guys aren't gonna see videos in that new space for at least like at least a month um, especially because I have those pre film videos that I spoke about earlier that are going to be going live um, during my recovery so I'm so excited because I really feel like this is going to help to expand my content as well even though I have like a good amount of space in my current filming setup in my house um, I didn't really have also a ton of space to be able to do a lot of things that I wanted especially fashion videos filming fashion videos especially since I am a one-man show it's like just me um, I just didn't have enough room to be able to to do it properly and with this new space there's just so many options like there's so much room for activity <laughs> I also am hoping that in this office space it's gonna allow me to be more productive it's gonna allow me to create more content and I'm hoping to maybe one day increase my videos from two a week to three a week that'd be really cool and I just feel like this is a brand new chapter and again I feel like I want to cry just because this is something that I've wanted for for so long and it feels like such an achievement that I'm able to to do this for myself um, to go from like my purple bedroom I'm so emotional you guys it's just been a stressful couple weeks but to go from like my, that my, my purple bedroom and like my parents house to now having like my own office studio space just feels like such an amazing accomplishment and I'm just really proud of myself um, that I'm able to do this for me we got a new nose we got a new office it's pretty exciting <laughs> okay so my very last update that I have for you guys is a little bit sad I guess you can say it's not sad but it's just kind of like you know the end of another little chapter so last november i came out with a jewelry collab with stillness i'm wearing my little hoops for my collab on my ears right now these are my points of light gold hoops that i love so much um and this collab was honestly one of the coolest experiences of my career to be able to design something see it come to life and then see people actually wearing it or seeing you guys wear it was amazing and so firstly i just want to thank um everybody who showed me support for this collab whether you bought a piece or you just you know congratulated me or you shared it on your social media whatever it was um thank you so so much you have no idea how much it it meant to me this collection was limited edition it wasn't ever supposed to be like you know live forever i just didn't really know when we would be taking it down it wasn't super clear um but the time is now uh the still nest x jamie and me jewelry collection is saying goodbye and, and so stillness actually provided me with a 20% off discount code for you guys to celebrate the end of the collab and the sale does end August 30th and after August 30th the collection is no longer going to be available and I did get a lot of questions from you guys um, on Instagram asking me if there's going to be a part two to this collection and while that was always a possibility and um, that was always like in the talks I decided not to go forward with a second collection because I am currently concentrating on a couple, not a couple, one specific very exciting project. And this is a very, very special project to me and I really just wanted to focus on this project and pour all of my energy into this new project, give it everything that I had basically. And so I decided not to go forward with a second collection with Stillness. So those are my three big updates. Um, yeah that's all i really gotta say i just want to thank you guys already just for you know your support and for always kind of having my back you really have no idea how much it means to me it's kind of like a brand new chapter especially in the new office um i'm really excited to see where it takes us to see where it takes this channel um i think it's gonna be great so i love you guys so much i hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are um and i will see you in the next one bye